As we prepare for this big storm, another wave of job cuts expected to hit the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. Now, the agency, which includes the National Weather Service, could ultimately lose about 20% of its staff. Your reporter Ashley Sharp is in studio with us getting answers about the impacts, really, Ashley. Yeah, well, NOAA could lose an additional 1,000 employees as soon as this week, sources confirmed to CBS News. It comes after more than 800 agency employees were already laid off in the first round of cuts last month at the order of Doge as Elon Musk and the Trump administration look to slash federal spending. Concerning how those cuts impact the National Weather Service, some experts worry people will pay the price in times of extreme weather. I just put my head down on my desk and I cried. Um, it was just gutting. Fired NOAA employees fought back against job cuts this week across the country. Sarah Cooley was head of NOAA's Office of Ocean Acidification, studying how warming waters impact ecosystems. That's the number one motivation, is putting science to work. So what about the National Weather Service, a branch of NOAA? Rick Spinrad led the agency during the Biden administration. He's worried that cuts will impact forecasts nationwide. It most assuredly will affect the um, availability, the frequency, and the accuracy, quite honestly, of the warnings. Like the National Weather Service, our CBS 13 First Alert weather team relies on reliable data collection. Without that information, what's happening now will affect forecasts down the road. One impact already announced by the NWS, offices in northeastern states like New York and Maine are reducing the frequency of weather balloon launches due to budget and staff cuts. What these balloons do is they measure temperature, dew point, wind speed, and uh, several other weather factors through the entire layer of the troposphere. That's the layer of the atmosphere where all weather happens. If similar cuts lead to fewer daily launches by the National Weather Service on the West Coast, it will have a direct impact on our forecast in the Sacramento region. It would impact the accuracy of our forecast models moving forward. And that will be important because weather travels west to east. So it will have a trickle down effect. Now, I did reach out to our Sacramento National Weather Service office today. They couldn't speak tonight on these cuts, directing us to their national office for answers. So we don't know yet exactly how our local teams will be impacted. But seeing this nationwide pattern, they're likely bracing for those cuts. Marlene Hunter. And of course, at a time for us here in Northern California, where we know just how important right. it is to be able to rely on those models. So Absolutely. Active uh, time of year. That we're active in right time now. of year. We'll have to wait and watch. Yeah. All right, Ashley, thank you.